Hi reception, welcome to another maths lesson with me, Mrs Langley. Uh, we are going to be looking at this number today. Now sometimes some of you see this number and you say 12. It's not 12, it's 20. 20. Now I know it's 20 because it's got two digits, it's got two tens and zero ones. So it's the number 20. And when we look at the number 20, we need to remember that this isn't two, it's two tens, it's 20. So this isn't two, it's two tens. So with this number today, we're going to be looking at the number and recognizing that this is the number thank you, the number 20. We are going to be counting 20 objects and we are going to be practicing writing the number 20. So by the end of today, you should all be able to shout at me, Mrs Langley, that's the number 20. Fantastic. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have a look around your house and you need to find lots of something. So I haven't been very imaginative today and I've just got lots of these little cubes that I used yesterday. I think you can find some more exciting things around your house. I will look forward to seeing what you find. Now, we got lots and lots of these cubes. So I'm going to need you to help me count 20. We're going to see if you can count 20 without missing any of the numbers, especially the numbers 13, 14 and 15, because sometimes when we're counting, we miss those out. So do you think you can help me count 20 cubes? Great. I'm going to tilt the camera down so you can see. Can you see that? OK, look, I've got lots and lots of cubes. So you're going to help me count 20. Are you ready? <clears throat> Clear those throats. OK, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What comes next? Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now remember, when we're counting, we always double check because sometimes we can make a silly mistake. So we need to check that Mrs Langley hasn't made a silly mistake. Are you ready? OK, get those counting fingers. I'm going to point to each one when I count so I know I've counted them. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So here I have 20 little cubes. Now at home, I'd like you to have a go at making 20 a couple of times, maybe three times using three different things, making sure we remember all those teen numbers. So that's the first thing I want you to do today. I want you to practice making 20. Should we count to 20 together one more time to make sure we've got all those teen numbers? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. That's right. 
So once you've practiced counting 20 items three times for me, you're then going to have a go at writing the number 20. OK, so when we write the number 20, we need to remember to write the two first, because the two isn't just two, it's two tens. OK, so it's not just two, it's two tens. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice writing 20. So we start with our rhyme for number two. OK, and it goes. Around and back on a railway track. Two, two, two. Excellent. And to make sure we're not just writing two, we're writing 20, we need to put a zero next to it in the ones column. OK, and we go. Round and round and round we go. When we get back home, we have a zero. So that's number 20. Should we have a go at writing it together again with the sounds, with the rhymes even? Are you ready? Around and back on a railway track. Two, two, two. Excellent. Round and round and round we go. When we get home, we have a zero. Twenty. Twenty. I wonder how well you can write the number 20. Remember, 20 isn't a two, because this is two, and this is 20. So this is 20 and this is two. So we need to make sure that we're doing our two, two, two in the tens column and our zero in the ones column. OK, practice writing the number 20 for me. I'd love to see pictures of your work and I will see you soon. Bye.